and the pitch. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. And the umpire's waving him on first base. Oh. All right, Billy, it's up to you now. The hopes and dreams of an entire school are in your hands. Yeah, but I don't want you to feel any pressure. Uh, right. Thanks, Coach. Next up for the Flying Rhinos is Billy O'Toole. Yeah! Uh, you can do it, Billy. You're the man, Billy. <laughs> hey, Ma. I smell toast. There's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike walk. Oh, I can't watch. Don't be so childish, Ruby. What's happening? Did he get a hit? Pitcher takes the sign, checks the runners. <gasps> Stay right, too. If television has taught me one thing, it's that at critical moments like these, the hero always reaches deep down within himself to find an inner strength he'll use to save the day. Watch. has been wrong before. Billy, you look depressed. Is there anything I can do? No. In that case, can I have your gristle? I knew he was gonna throw a curveball, but then I thought he probably knows I know, so he's gonna throw a fastball instead. But I should have realized that he knew that I knew that he knew that I knew. Billy, that game was three days ago. Since then, you've done nothing but mope and failed two math tests. Dwelling on the past isn't going to change anything. Instead, you should learn from your mistakes so you'll do better next time. There isn't going to be a next time. I quit the team. But the playoffs start next week. Oh, you're going to be disappointing a lot of people, right? Uh, yeah. You see? Can I have your glove? <laughs> what? Marcus, do you ever wish you could travel back in time and change one moment in your life? I've never contemplated it. Everyone knows you can't change the past. Besides, time travel is beyond the bounds of reason. Yeah, but technology's advancing pretty fast. I mean, if they can make hair in a can, Time travel can't be far behind. Ah, time travel? That's child's play. Why, one of my very first inventions was a time machine. Wow, Phantom. Did you use it to go back to ancient Egypt? Uh, not exactly. Medieval times? No. The week before? All right, all right. I never quite perfected it. But of course I could, if I truly wanted to. I believe you, Phantom. Wow! I overheard some of you discussing the concept of time travel. Several works of literature have dealt with this subject, including The Time Machine by H.G. Wells and A Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court by Mark Twain. You might say they're timeless classics. <laughs> In A Connecticut Yankee, for instance, our young hero travels back to 6th century England and the court of King Arthur. He uses his knowledge of future events, particularly the solar eclipse of 528 AD, to trick the medieval populace into believing he is a wizard. Uh, yes, Marcus? Uh, I'd like to point out that although Einstein's general theory of relativity allows for the possibility of time travel, it can only occur within such an extreme set of parameters as to render any successful attempt highly unlikely. Uh, or uh, to put it another way, anyone who seriously thinks he can go back in time ought to have his head examined. What? How dare he question my mental state? I'll show him who needs to have his head examined. Reticus, fetch my tool belt! I'm going to finish work on a project I should have completed long ago! The standing bookshelves? No, my time machine! <gasps> Just a 
few minor adjustments. There, it's done. It looks like a photo booth. Exactly! That's how I'm going to lure our unsuspecting victims inside. Now, the only question is, where shall I send them? Hmm, perhaps London during the plague. Or Vienna, under siege by the Turks. Although they could use their knowledge of history to their advantage. Unless I send them all the way back into prehistory. Ooh la la! Radicus, seize your infantile frolic class picture! Ow! We need to figure out how we're going to get this thing upstairs. Do you mean upstairs, Phantom? <laughs> Okay, hold it. Where should we put it, Phantom? I know where I'd like to put it. Now I'll simply wait for that buffoon O'Toole and his squirrely sidekicks to enter my trap. Ooh, I don't remember ordering a photo booth. Furrier than me. Hey, let's get our picture taken. Do we have to? Ah, here come our pigeons now. Ready? Ready! <gasps> What's going on? They didn't think time travel was possible. Well, they're about to learn the hard way that the Phantom doesn't know the meaning of the word impossible. Here you go, Phantom. Impossible. Incapable of being done, undertaken, or experienced. Oh, did you set the time dial as I told you? You bet. Excellent! My greatest triumph! Just think of it, Raticus. I've sent those troublemaking brats 20,000 years into the past! <laughs> uh, I thought you said 20 years. What? I, I told you we were sending them into prehistoric times! Well, uh, 20 years ago, most people didn't even have cable. If that's not prehistoric, I don't know what is. You dim-witted dolt! <laughs> Ruby, love your kinky hair. What happened? Hey there, kids. Principal Mulligan? You have hair? Of course I do. But we thought you were bald. All the men in my family kept a full head of hair well into old age. <laughs> I'm never gonna go bald. Keep on trucking, kids. Something weird is going on here. Earl's done it to us again. Hey, the school paper. <gasps> October 4th, 1979? We've traveled 20 years into the past. Hey, Marcus, looks like you were wrong. Time travel is possible. Ha! This should teach you never to underestimate the phantom. Hey. If time travel is possible, maybe changing the past is possible, too. Billy, I already told you. You don't try to change the past. You learn from it. Ah, you must be the new students. Don't be late for class. Remember, learning is dynamite! Woo -hoo -hoo! Whoa, let's look around. Wait a minute. Let's make sure we can get back to our time first. Well, in order to reverse the time travel process, I have to rewire all these circuits. B but without the original schematics, I wouldn't know where to begin. So we're trapped? You mean we're lost? <gasps> in time? Maybe not. We don't need the schematics if we have the inventor. No! 
Rock Radicus. It's me. Ow! You clumsy oaf! Ah, what a splendid specimen of youth I was. Are you sure it's him? But he doesn't look like someone who will one day turn into a maniacal evil genius. Ow! You bumbling Neanderthals! It's him, all right. How dare those little delinquents! Ah! Oh no! They're in the past! I can't do anything to them! But don't get too comfortable, you ruffians! I won't let you get away with it! For I don't know the meaning of the word quit! Quit! To resign, give up, cease, or desist! Any other word you want me to look up for you, Phantom? Raticus? You're getting on my nerves. Nerves! Let's see. Here it is, Phantom. Oh, oh, no! That nerd is our only hope of getting back to our own time! <laughs> Mind if we join you? Why? If you want my lunch money, you're too late! Somebody already took it. We just want to talk. Uh, the truth is, Earl, we're from the future. Uh, we, we breached the space-time continuum and traveled 20 years into the past. <laughs> sure. It's true. We came back in a time machine that you invented. Really? I have been working on a design. Wait a minute. <laughs> I know what's going on here. This is the setup for another one of those practical jokes where I wind up stripped to my underwear and locked in the girls' washroom. Well, you can just forget it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a shop project to complete. How can we convince him we're telling the truth? Remember what Mrs. Snodgrass said about a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's court? The hero uses his knowledge of events that haven't happened yet to convince everyone that he's a great wizard. Of course. We prove we're from the future by making a prediction. Is there anything we know about Earl that's going to happen soon? Shop, Shop class. class! Today we're going to learn about safety with power tools. Nice ah, spice rack. It's a birdhouse, you moron. First, let's fire up the old saber saw. <sighs> If we told you exactly what mark you were going to get, would that convince you were from the future? I already know what I'm going to get. An A. I always get an A. Now remember, the important thing is never to bring your fingers too close to the blade like this, because... Ah! Actually, you're going to get a D. And it's going to haunt you for the rest of your life. No need to panic. Let me just try to stop the bleeding here. You're crazy! A D? Never! All right now, children. Ten extra credits to the boy or girl who finds my finger. Fifteen if you can do it before I pass out. Let's make a deal. If you don't get a D, we'll leave you alone. But if you do, you have to admit that maybe we're telling the truth. Certainly, but a D? <laughs> Not ever! He's not in a helping kind of mood. I can't believe it. You were right. I got a, 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 a D. We told you. See, we are from the future. So you say. But how can I be sure? We'll show you our time machine. As a genius, I'm sure you'll be able to tell a real one from one of those cheap knockoffs. <laughs> of course. Then, while you work on a project befitting your genius intellect, that is, fixing the time machine. We'll work on getting you an A in shop class. After all, a guy as smart as you shouldn't be wasting his time building birdhouses. You're absolutely right. You have a deal. It's ironic, isn't it? He's going to help us foil the plans made by his future self. I wonder how that grown-up Earl would take it if he knew. Did not too well. Okay, I talked to Mr. Needlenose and he agreed to let Earl do a makeup project. 
While you're helping Marcus and Lydia with the time machine, Ruby and I will build your project. Are you good at building things? Are you kidding? It's what I do. Yeah, it's what we do. Ow! Ah! Wow, this time machine is quite impressive. I'm even more of a genius than I realized. Uh, yes, but can you fix it? No problem! No, no, stop, you fool! Yeah, stop, you fool! How dare you talk to me like that? Uh, yeah, but you said... Silence! Okay, your time machine is fixed. Now where's my project? Ooh, this will get me an A for sure! You know, maybe we can change the past. If Earl gets a good mark, he'll never go crazy, become the Phantom, and terrorize us. You did a great job on that birdhouse. It's beautiful. And sturdy. The glue Ruby used is really strong. Oh, I didn't use any glue. We don't want the birds getting their feet all icky sticky. <laughs> I'm very disappointed, Earl. I'm afraid you still get a D. No, 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 you don't understand. I, I have a perfect record. Oh, oh, not anymore, you don't. You can't do this to me. I'm Earl P. Sidebottom, straight A student. You'll never get away with this, never. <laughs> so much for changing the past. Come on, let's get back to our own time before young Earl starts getting ideas. Earl rerouted the controls into my mini Mega Mind. This should only take a second. Hey, I just realized something. We could go back three days early, and I could get another chance to hit the big home run. Billy, haven't you learned your lesson yet? Come on, it's just a minor adjustment. I'm sorry, but if we get back safe and sound, I promise I'll never talk about changing the past again. Did we make it? Uh. Well, Principal Mulligan is bald again. That's good enough for me. The what a dispiriting debacle. Excuse me? I mean, uh, darn. That's better. Of course, ah. one of the recurring lessons of time travel is that even the slightest change of the past can affect the future. Do you think Earl might be crazy enough to try to use his time machine to go back in history and change the past? Well, I'd say it's quite obvious from our adventure that you cannot change the past. Stuff and utter nonsense! Raticus, pack your bags! We're going on a little trip! Billy, what you doing? I'm practicing for the playoffs. But I thought you quit the team. I changed my mind. Lydia was right all along. If you make a mistake, you don't dwell on it. You learn from it so you can do better in the future. To think that it all began with Einstein's theory of time. The what's it, who's it? Einstein! He theorized that since time begins to slow down at higher speeds, it actually runs backwards when you go beyond the speed of light. Boy, this Weinstein sounds like a pretty smart guy. Einstein was the second greatest thinker of all time. Second to me, of course. If I keep working on my swing, the next time I'm up in the bottom of the ninth with the bases loaded, I just might put it out of the park. The Italian Renaissance, Elizabethan England. Finally, Vienna during the. I think we're in Vienna. Onga, Onga, Ongola Mongola, Ongola Mongola. What are they saying? Mangala Mangala, a tribal expression dating back to 2106 BC. 
uttered by cavemen before devouring a large feast. Ongo! <laughs> Alabaga! Alabaga Waga! Yo! Do you suppose oh. they're just hungry? Yes, you imbecile! Alabaga! And it appears you and I are the takeout! Alabaga Waga! Alabaga Waga! <laughs>